So we've got some speedy winds. What's happening now is we're kind of stuck in the middle of two distinct systems. Yesterday's front and a massive area of low pressure over the midsection of the country. So things are going to be a little on the breezy to locally windy side of the day. And the numbers are a little elevated this morning. Uh, taking a look at it, Port Canaveral, all is well and quiet. Just blowing around that breeze right now. It's pretty much it. No rain on radar yet. We have a considerable amount of clouds. You can see the flow here around that low and all the cloud cover moving in off the Gulf of Mexico. And there's some showers with it, but mainly over the spur of the Florida Panhandle here around Apalachicola on over toward the Big Bend region as you get out to maybe Dixie and Taylor counties. But otherwise, it's quiet here in Orlando. But I'm calling it the low that won't go. It's merged with yesterday's system and form what we call a cutoff low. And these cutoff lows, they kind of separate from the jet stream and they have a mind of their own. Let me tell you right now, as we see the counterclockwise wrap around that thing with the winds coming on in, and there's a bit of moisture trapped in the mid levels of the atmosphere. So that is going to help to eke out some showers for us uh, through the day today and especially by tonight. The chance actually comes up a little bit in terms of that coverage. So look here through the afternoon. You see the showers rolling on by in that breeze. It'll increase a little late tonight through early, early Saturday morning. No severe weather, no thunderstorms, just showers blowing by in the breeze. And then as we get to Sunday or Saturday afternoon, we start to see that trend of drier air slowly infiltrating from the north and northwest. A little reinforcing front comes through, and you can see the banding of clouds dropping on down to the south. We take the, take the rain chance out of the equation by that time. So we've got a little chance to shower Saturday morning, and then after that, we're all done. Outdoor comfort index today. I'm going to put about an 8 due in part to the transitioning atmosphere. The breezy winds, the highs today pretty much only in the 70s. And a look at the villages. We're cooler with some breezy conditions. A few past Passing showers at about 30% coverage. Pretty much the same today. Seaside in Volusia County. Cooler at breezy with passing showers. 74 by the noontime hour. We're 50s and 60s overnight tonight. And for wake up temperatures as we get into your Saturday with the front driving through, then we see the trough of low pressure finally work through and the cooler conditions taking shape. So no weather issues anticipated out at the Cape for the launch on Sunday at 221. This is the Crew 3 Dragon mission to the ISS. There are going to be live humans on board. So another Another historical moment here in Central Florida and a look here at the Halloween weather forecast showing us we're looking pretty good. World Series tonight in Atlanta at 809. It looks like again the Houston Astros taking on the Braves and it looks like some showery cool weather kind of raw actually at about 52 degrees. Our forecast for the next seven days breezy easy weather Halloween looking great. Sun filled skies and a high of 75 wake up temps at around the mid and upper 50s. Enjoy the cooler change friends. Five